What is happening, YouTube? What just happened? Chris Paul, the point guard, he just got waived from the Phoenix Suns. That is actually pretty crazy. That is actually, like, pretty wild that he actually just got waived. Um, to be honest, I was, like, surprised, but thinking about it, I could, I kind of, like, I could understand why, because, um, yeah, Chris Paul, he could play make and all that, but dude is old, dude is very injury prone, and dude takes up a lot of the contract, but the thing is, Chris Paul contract is partially guaranteed, so, like, it's 44 mil, but, like, you know, or something like that, and then, you know, you take 40 million dollars off the cap space, so, it now gives the Phoenix Suns, like, a lot of, like, potential ammunitions to sign some players to improve their team. You know, instead of, you know, keeping a very, like, high, um, like, you know, highly touted veteran, but, you know, actually is not making too much impact on the court other than, you know, getting some assists and all that. And then, you know, just that taking, like, what, 40 plus million dollars cap space. So, I think it was the right move for the Phoenix Suns to move on. Probably give Cameron Payne more minutes because I feel like Cameron Payne was kind of like, at the moment, from what I've seen, is like more of a threat than um, Chris Paul. But it's crazy that he actually just, um, you know, actually got waived. Um, where is he going? Um, a lot of reports say it's the Lakers because, you know, the Lakers always trying to get everybody, which I actually would not mind because Chris Paul, he's up in age. It's father's times. It is father's times for Chris Paul. And obviously, since Chris Paul was an L.A. Clipper for a long, long time, they're always going to probably link his name to us since, you know, we are contenders and all that. But um, but the thing is, if it was like maybe three years ago, I'll be like, oh, yeah, why not? But right now, he's 38 years old. Um, you got Russell Westbrook and you got Bones Highland. Russell Westbrook, um, you know, he makes a lot of mistakes on the courts, but at the same time, he brings so much impact for us as well, too. He would always go for rebounds. Um, Clippers play, like, i never seen the Clippers ever play, had a faster offense before, before we got Russell Westbrook. And Russ just makes us play fast, and he just brings the best of our, you know, um, our – for our team while when Chris Paul in my opinion sure he got the assist but I don't really I don't really see that intensity of the impact compared to how Russell Westbrook does and yeah you can counter and saying oh yeah um, Russell Westbrook turns the ball over but he also makes it up by getting a huge amount of rebounds as well too and he always plays his ass off into playoffs and this is coming from a guy who did not like Russell Westbrook like prior to the acquisition, but, but, you know, later on, he proved me wrong, well, for the most part, um, he did have a bad, um, game five, but, other than that, he brought his intensity, so, the Russell Westbrook and Chris Paul fit is going to be extremely weird, so, I would definitely pass on Chris Paul, and also, beside that, you ain't trying, I ain't trying to, you know, take any more minutes from Bones Highland anyways, so, that Clippers, nope, that's a pass from my person. Respectfully, you know, Chris Paul did a lot for Lob City, but you know, Chris Paul is just known for choking as well too, man. Like, what's up with that? Like, the past two years, the, the Phoenix Suns just got annihilated by what twenty plus points, and it was just a pure embarrassment. Uh, let's see what else. Of and not for, to forget, the Clippers choked a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Under Chris Paul and injuries, of course, but, you know, it's crazy. It is crazy, but but obviously, since, you know, Chris Paul is a former Clipper, I got to wish him luck. Um, where do you think Chris Paul is actually going to go? Um, I'm trying to envision some teams. Let's see. See, I can't even really think of a team because, you know, um, Maybe the Pelicans, since they don't have a point guard, because the Pelicans' point guard was is like only Pelicans' point true point guard. I think is Jose Alvarado, and then T 
Kira Lewis. So maybe the Pelicans could be an option. Have a little reunion, you know, with Zion Williamson, um, um, Jonas Valanciunas, Brandon Ingram. That could be an interesting option. Chris Paul to the Pelicans. Who else? That that's probably what I could actually really think of. Um, maybe you know what? Who desperately wants a point guard? I guess the Wizards, but I don't think Chris Paul wants to play with the Wizards. Man, the Wizards are man. They're pretty like in a very boring gutter right now. Um, but I I could low key see Chris Paul in the Pelicans uniform, but you know, not the Lakers. The Lakers always like going for big names, so you never know. Chris Paul could be an LA Laker, but but what do you guys think about Chris Paul? Do you think Chris Paul should like was the right thing for the Phoenix Suns to do to just wave him like that? Um, honestly, I, I Loki thought that maybe just maybe the Phoenix Suns could have bait some teams to maybe get some a little bit of a draft capital and all that, but uh, but then you know the Suns would have probably had to take some money back, so. They just, I guess it was just better for them to just flat out wave him, get a huge chunk. I don't know. Maybe are the Suns trying to get Kyrie Irving? That could be pretty possible since Kyrie and KD, they are really good friends. And, and then, you know, Kyrie Irving um, and Luka backcourt is a weird fit. But I don't know. Like, maybe I, th- I think Kyrie might just stay just because for reputation wise um you know if you get traded to the Mavs and then you just leave Luka in the dust a lot of people are gonna be pretty irate about that so I think like I think for Kyrie's dignity sake he probably he, he might probably stay with the Dallas Mavericks but the Suns could probably get some other players though like um I don't know, but maybe Draymond Green? I don't know. Okay, I don't know about that. Um, Because Draymond, he's like a point forward, so you never know. Like Kevin Durant, Draymond, Devin Booker, hmm, and Aiton. That could be weird, but but I don't know. (laughs) Okay, I'm just probably rambling right now, but – and Clippers fans. Who are watching this video? What do you think about Chris Paul? You want him back in the LA Clipper uniform? Um, obviously, I forgot if I stated earlier, but um, I would lean no just because, you know, our situation with Westbrook, anyways, and Bones Highland. And I'm content with both of them as our point guards because I feel like they're more a better fit for us. And they bring. More of the talent and athleticism, so I'll pass up on that. But I, I, pr- I predict some of Clippers fans they would probably want Chris Paul back, and let me know why. Uh, I mean, some of the cases are pretty decent. Like Chris Paul does get like almost nine assists per game, but his turnover rates are pretty low. But the eye test just doesn't really um, give me that. Oh yeah. Let's definitely, definitely go crazy for him. So, um, you could also bring that his steals are pretty solid and his shooting is, you know, okay. But, anyways, I'm actually surprised that he actually got waived. But, anyways, have a good, have a good day, have a good night, when whatever, what time you're watching it, and you know the finals about to start within a few hours, so that's gonna be also fun to watch too. But, anyways. Peace.